Hello, 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 everybody! Hi, Restroom here, and welcome back to Fire Emblem The Binding Blade. In the last episode, we got Corel, Ray died, and it was basically the, the last map before uh, this. So, we are about to get into the last two maps of the game, which is why I decided, hey, let's start on the, on the title screen for once. Um, <laughs> just a casual reminder before we get into this chapter. Next chapter, you do not get the chance to change anything about your units. Make sure they're fully equipped. Make sure everything has as much use as possible. You do not want to go in with basically broken weapons. That being said, let's jump into the chapter. Gosh. After defeating Burns' remaining troops, Roy enters the Dragon Sanctuary. He searches for the Dark Priestess to prevent a repeating of the scouring. Here in the sanctuary, Roy will learn the truth of the legendary dragons. All he knows is about to be proven wrong. <laughs> so, there are multiple thrones on this map that we need to catch. I'll show you in the in the thing in a second because it always does the, the panning shot of the of the map. But yeah, uh, if you come here, you can see that there's a throne here that a mannequin is sitting on. Uh, we need to seize that throne with Roy to unlock the next room. There's only one tile things here, so everyone has to move very slowly into the next room. Luckily, uh, most if not all of our units have boots, including Faye. Yeah, including Faye. So, you know, that's pretty good. Um, let's look at these mannequins real quick. So this one's level 8, you know, I'm pretty sure the one next to it is, like, this one is pretty much the same one. This one has to be different though, right? Seems so? 23... 20... Yeah, just slightly stronger resistance, I think. Stronger as well? Yeah, stronger as well. Okay. But yeah, Manikeets are dangerous. So let's go into the units we've brought. So Roy and Faye, as I've mentioned, are basically necessary. They have to come no matter what. Sin... Lance, Tate, Lilina, Wendy, Zeiss, Clarine, and Saul are our final team members. So let's go through them one by one, <laughs> uh, like I did in Blazing Sword. So Roy. Roy's the Lord. He kind of has to come. These are what aren't necessarily his final stats, but, you know, more or less what he's going to end off with. Pretty good speed, uh, pretty good skill and luck. Strength is okay. Maybe a little bit more than, like, maybe he needed a little bit more strength, but I feel like I got screwed over in his strength rolls until recently. Uh, Faye is Faye. I leveled her up to five a while back and then never used her since, but that's because I didn't want to waste any of her Divine Stone uses. Sin! I... <laughs> so Sin technically died, right? <laughs> um, I... I'm recording this episode the day after I edited the Zephyl episode. Uh, let's just say I definitely had a moment about Sin dying. Uh, these are his final stats though. He currently has plus five speed because of the Mergle. Merglis? I don't know, I should have looked those up. Luck, defense, and resistance are definitely lacking, but skill, speed, and strength are good. Lance is overall. We didn't get to use a Paladin in Blazing Sword, so I kind of wanted to use one now. Uh, Lance has been through us, been with us the whole journey, basically. Um, he's a pretty good unit. He's done his job really well. Uh, Lilina, basically the second lord of the game. Maximum magic. Kinda slow, but, you know, that doesn't matter when you've got magic for days. <laughs> Tate. This was actually very difficult. Because deciding between Tate and Shana is basically saying, hey... Do I want this apple, or another apple that's just as good? Um, unlike in Blazing Sword, where I felt Fiora was, like, overall stronger than Florina was, Tate and Shauna have been on the team the entire time and have been really good. Um, she's nearly maxed her speed as well, which is really good. Uh, Wendy. Wendy is a character that people say is bad. I've had fun with her. She's been really good for me. I don't know what people have been doing wrong. Maybe it's not using Wendy. <sighs> Zeiss. So Melody also technically died last episode. Uh, the difference between... Oh, he has 
maximum strength as well. I was about to say, I think the, the difference between Melody and Zeiss is that Melody is faster, but Zeiss has more defense. And I feel like right now the defense is more necessary than the speed. Especially because we found out Zeiss can kill dragons without a Dragon Slayer weapon anyway. Actually, shouldn't somebody have a... Yes, okay, I was about to say, Roy has a Worm Slayer. I was about to say, somebody was missing one. Soul, uh, Bishops, Light Magic, uh, basically on the same teams, This basically on the team for the same reasons Lucius was, just overall really strong for no reason. And finally, Clarine. Maximum speed, maximum luck, been our go-to healer, basically the whole game. Um, don't know what else to say. Everyone is in position already, so let's not put it off any longer. Chapter 24, Legends and Lies. Okay. This is it, guys. The end of the game. This is the Dragon Sanctuary. The air feels strange. Do the eight legends fight under these conditions, too? You humans stand against us once more. What? Who are you? When did you... I'm John. I'm the last true dragon of the Dragon Sanctuary. The last true dragon? You do seem different from the other dragons. Are you the demon dragon? The dragons you have fought thus far are war dragons. They know nothing but battle. The demon dragon, too, is quite a different being than I. I'm a pure-blooded dragon who fought you humans in the distant past. The demon dragon is a different being? I thought the demon dragon was the leader of your kind. The demon dragon is nothing more than a tool to rally us dragons. It is hardly what I would call a leader. What? What exactly is the demon dragon, then? There is much you don't know, it appears. What is the demon dragon? I want to at least know what we're fighting against. I did not say that correctly, but oh well. Hmm. I have no reason to tell you. But then, I have no reason not to tell you either. What to do? Uh, very well. A test. Are you worthy of healing the truth? I await you deep within. Fight through the hordes of war dragons and come to me. Do that, and everything will be made clear. You're deep within, but you're right here. What you see is an illusion, a projection. Come, if you wish to know the truth. Prove yourself worthy of my time, and I shall tell you all. So we're gonna move Faye first. Well, actually, let, let's see, because I know these mannequins have to be able to move, right? Okay. Oh, we're pretty much safe until we step into that room. So we'll put Faye here. Let's see... I feel like speed is what we need more right now, um, even though I could have used the boots to make it move a little bit quicker. Ooh. I have to consider who's going to be able to, like, take out these dragons rather well. Oh, uh, Wendy can actually, like, take both hits, I think, rather well. Actually, does she have the most defense on the team? No, Zeiss has more defense than her. Huh. Interesting. Uh, Roy, come here then. Uh, yeah, Lilina, since you can make it, you may as well. Uh, so yeah. Final stretch of the game. Not much else to say, other than, uh, you know, let's not fuck up. Um, if a unit dies, I, I should probably preface this, if a unit dies, I'm not gonna try and reset to bring him back. If Roy dies, then I do have to redo everything anyway, so a person will probably be back alive that if anything happens now we'll use boots uh what else anything i want to say um gosh this is going to be a very difficult question mark map because you know there's a lot of situations that we might find ourselves in that we can't really save ourselves from i actually don't want Faye leading the charge though Here's the thing. I have to decide. Uh, actually, can Lance? Yes. Okay, cool. So I have an idea. <laughs> uh, if we bring Lance over this side, right? I don't know. If, I don't think the one on the on the throne moves, but I know these ones do. Actually, a decent idea. Even though it means that Roy will always be behind, is to have a few units like speed through. I might do that, yeah. Have a few units come and speed through. Let's not move you, actually. I need to basically say, Roy and Lillian on this side, and Karina and Lance on this side as well. My main issue 
is speed and strength, actually. Let's see. So for, oh, his speed is six. Okay, cool. Uh, 34. I don't know if that works on your defense or not. 10. Okay, so you won't die. Uh, I think I'm going to equip Roy with the Worm Slayer instead of the Binding Blade. They, it's less powerful, but it does the same thing. It is a Dragon Slayer weapon, after all. So we'll do that. Lance can heal. I don't want to use the Durandal. Hold on, it raises strength, doesn't it? Okay. I was about to say, I don't I don't know if I really want to use the Durandal, but I'm going to anyway. Just to be safe. Uh yeah, keep the Alfire equipped. Uh ooh. I think put Faye here. Increased luck. Bring soul under her. Can the dragons just fly? No, they can't. Damn it. Okay. I was about to say, could the flying units just fly out and around? But no. Which is a bit of a shame. Uh, actually, I'll put Wendy here. Actually, Zeiss. Let me not be an idiot. Zeiss has the more defense. Um, if we equip Zeiss with his sword, even though he won't kill them, I think it's overall a better choice. So we'll do that. I'm I'm very uncertain about a lot of my choices in this map because I've not like there's nothing that I can really do to prepare for what's about to happen other than recognize there's a shit ton of dragons. Okay, you hit me, but luckily Lilina has maximum magic, so she does 65. God. Oh, uh, Lilina might be too powerful. Don't consider that. Oh no. Oh god, I really hope Lilina doesn't die. Okay. My only issue with these dragons is that for some reason Firestones are like almost guaranteed to hit. And it kinda sucks, and this is a waste of endurance I'll use. God damn it. Okay. Oh well. I have the hammer on, on Clarine. I know that, that means we're lacking in healing stuff, but I feel overall. Having the hammer in case any of these weapons are about to break is a good idea. You know what, Faye? Let's see, what can you do? He does 20 to you, which is basically your whole health bar. But you do 39, and have a 16% chance to crit. But he's not gonna move off his thing. So let's do the plan of oh, let's move, uh, remove Sin in as well. I can't really move you without moving Roy. Okay, so Lilina and... Is it Lilina and Lance? Yes. Need healing. So Soul. Recover. I'm gonna try not to skip, but I'm gonna skip past, like, healing stuff, because nobody really needs to sit down and watch that, you know? There we go. Okay. Faye. I'm actually gonna put Faye here and use the Angelic Robe. Uh... Ooh, I'm gonna need Physica with Soul, I think. Let's see what Zeiss can do. Oh, five with his land. Yeah. It's because they do 14 to him, which isn't that much damage, considering. So... Eh, I don't know. We'll see. Let's end the turn. Let's start moving the others through. This is just so that, like, everyone does have a chance to fight on this map. Because everyone might not get a chance to fight in the next map, depending on how everything goes. Uh, soul, come down to here, use Physic on Faye. There you go. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Let's actually set it up so that Faye doesn't, like, kill him by herself. Uh, 39. Hold on, what's your HP? 57 minus 39 is, like, 19-ish? Something along the lines of 19, so we'll do this. Hey! Zai's getting the crit, okay. Oh, wait. Roy has to. Bruh! Okay! <laughs> Zai's went, nah, fuck you, fam. You ain't getting shit from me, okay. Goddamn. Oh, uh, in which case, I'm gonna be moving everyone else first. Hmm. You know what? Um, because I know reinforcements are gonna be a thing on this map. 
I feel having having Zeiss in the back to deal with whatever comes through is probably the best choice. Let's seize this throne. Is this really you this time? Or this is but the beginning. We have quite a way ahead of you yet. But you didn't perish immediately. That alone speaks to your ability. We have been through many trials. You will not die here and let it be for naught. So you say. Allow me to tell you a little bit about the Demon Dragon. The Demon Dragon is not the leader of the dragons as you thought. The Demon Dragon was created to bring us victory. It was created? So it wasn't the Demon Dragon who was making dragons? The dragons you speak of are in fact soulless war dragons. I need to take a drink. As I said before, they are different from pure dragons such as myself. The war dragons are indeed created by the demon dragon. Ugh. The demon dragon was formed from a divine dragon. I'm just gonna leave my lid off of that. Uh, it was formed from a divine dragon, the most powerful of our kind. It was formed from a divine dragon. Did a divine dragon agree to become the demon dragon? Agree? <laughs> no. It destroyed its very soul to extinguish its will. It is a mindless drone intended to heed our every word. You what? We desperately needed the power of a divine dragon. The survival of our entire species was at stake. We needed the power of a divine dragon. So you destroyed one's soul? Do you wish to know more? Come further. Show me your strength. And now this area is opened. Hello. Hi! Hmm. Hmm. Who's behind Wendy? It's Sin, right? Sin can take that guy down. I don't even think Sin would have to use his, uh... His Murglay. I feel like he could use, uh, the Brave Bow or something. Maybe. Perhaps. Perchance. Let's see. Murglay definitely kills. What about Brave Bow? Killer Bow? Long Bow? No. Damn it. Okay. Yep, Murglay it is. Huh. Nice. To be fair, it is great that these weapons basically one-shot these these dragons. Uh, it's gonna be the same thing here now, where uh, if we step anyone in, they're gonna be quite expected to take a hit. So let's be careful. I do want to use Faye just a little bit. Uh, Roy, come on through now. Zeiss, stay behind. Lilina, heal Zeiss, since you've got that. Let's get past it. Okay. Uh, I'll move Wendy a little bit further. Same with Soul. Physic, Wendy. I want to keep everyone as topped up as I can, but I might risk it a little bit more. Yeah, see? More dragons are going to start spawning through. It's not the, f the most fun aspect of this map, but what can you do? Oh, I can't put... Oh gosh, I'm afraid to put Saul anywhere near a dragon by himself. Oh, uh, that's... you do 36. 36 minus 8. You wouldn't die, but it would definitely hurt you. Uh, yeah, I think if we... If we actually move Faye in, put Saul here, move Wendy back a little, put in Sin. Yeah, this looks like a good idea. This looks like a good idea. I don't know though. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not gonna put Zeiss, like, I'm not gonna make him come and attack the dragon without anything. 37. And you have an elixir. Gross. Okay. So that dragon can actually run away from us and heal if it wants. Oh, all the drag. Well, that one has an elixir at least. So all the ones on the on the on the throne, you just kind of want to disperse ASAP because they have, you know, elixirs. They can heal themselves, and you don't really want that to happen. Uh, we'll put Faye here. It's a shame that we don't have anybody who can uh, support with Faye, but she should be okay. Yeah, that one's faster than her though, which is a bit of a shame, but not fast. Uh, not fast enough to double. Uh, Saul. I'm afraid to put Saul by himself, but I also know that Saul can do damage. So, 
Uh, we'll put Soul and Wendy together, I think, like this. It's a shame that there are no, uh, light killer weapons for... I'm afraid to put Soul, not Soul of Sin, in front. But he can't do anything, so... Same with Tate. Roy kinda has to come on in. But I'm afraid that if, he, if I put him there, he'll be like destined to get hit. So, we'll wait until. Yeah, I think dragons spawn every turn. So, we have to be careful of those, especially for when we get to the, uh, to the major danger zone. You know what the major danger zone is. Everyone knows what the major danger zone is. Because I definitely know what I'm talking about. Hey, good job, Faye. Level up. Let's see. HP, strength, skill, speed, luck, and resistance. Let's go. Even though I think you kind of need more, uh... Something. <laughs> more something, yes. Hopefully that dragon doesn't get a 7% crit. Like Zephyr did. Still mad about that. Yeah. Ooh, but Soul got the 4% crit. My boy, let's go. Okay. Actually, I do want Clarine to hit a dragon. I might do that to this one, since that's kind of... Because I want Clarine to, like, hit level 20. I need one of our units to, you know. Uh, actually, can you hit this one? You can. You won't kill. But you'll be able to do damage. Which might be necessary. Yeah, because I think I just want Faye to kill this one. This is good. No, that's not skip. Let me, let me... I should have just disabled that button entirely. But I do want to skip past healing, so... Okay, level up for Faye again. HP, strength, skill, speed, and luck. We'll take it. Uh, we do need to heal her, though. So let's bring Lilina in to do so. Heal. Skip past that. Okay. Uh, Tate, what can you actually do? Because I don't want to have it turn out that... Oh, you have the Maltet! I forgot I gave you that! Okay, what can you do other than Maltet, though? Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Farine. I'm trying to think, is there a way that I can feed this till- this- this till? This kill to Farine. But I don't think it's possible. Oh, I need to heal Soul as well. Yikes. Uh, Divine? What does Lightning do? Ten. Divine is 13. Let's use Divine, why not? Stop skipping! Ah, uh, well we missed the, the second hit. That's fine. I shouldn't have put Soul there, actually, because that's where Clarine needs to go. Uh, oops, I've now immediately locked her out of that. Uh, on the bright side, she can heal Soul. So we'll do that. Uh, 11, 11, 64, 35. Yeah, Sin, you know what? Nope. You'll kill. I almost fast forwarded again. I felt my hand on the button to be like, let's just skip past this, but no. No, 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 no. Also, need to remember, if I want to heal any of the legendary weapons, they have to be right next to Clarine. Level 12, skill, luck, and defense. Let's go. Is that max skill? No. 30 is his max skill. I don't think I'll be able to hit that by the end of this. That's like. Yeah. How many more rooms are there? One, two. Oh god. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where are we? Here we are. I could seize that throne immediately. I could. But I don't know what dragon is gonna be there, is the thing. I mean, turned out Wendy could actually deal some damage to it, so we'll do that. Uh, we'll bring Tate next to her. Roy, come seize the throne. Let's not waste no time. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm curious how far you will make it. I want to hear more. No matter how many of your kind you defeated in combat, your human, you humans continue to multiply endlessly. And he basically just... Never mind. You were eventually overwhelmed by the sheer number of you humans. Actually, yeah, that makes sense. Because dragons live for an extended period of time. 
So having humans grow up in 18 years to them is like two months. Not even two months. Huh. It was then we decided to form a demon dragon capable of creating war dragons. War dragons, soulless beings who know nothing but battle. Correct. The divine dragons, however, were opposed to the idea. They said it was an affront to the laws of nature. As we tried to persuade the, div the divine dragons, they suddenly disappeared without a trace. Why? They probably chose to leave before we could take advantage of them. We never located the majority of the divine dragon tribe, but we were able to capture a single member of their kind. And that became the demon dragon? Precisely. The divine dragon Eden was to become the, the demon dragon. Okay, I know it's spelled Edun, Idun here, um, but I refuse to believe that if this game ever gets localized names, that isn't gonna be Eden. Like, the Garden of Eden. It would be the worst opportunity to pass up. It hesitated, however, as the rift between its tribe and the rest of us widened. Hesitation. Such folly is reserved for you humans. It serves no end. Her hesitation impeded your plans. Eden was immature, but of enough strength to fulfill our purpose. Its heart, however, wasn't with us. It would not follow our commands. So, that's why you destroyed her soul? Yes. We destroyed its soul so that it would unquestioningly obey our every command. That's... vile. That's enough for now. Show me more of your power if you want to hear the rest. I feel bad for that voice being what I chose for here. Yeah, I forgot about that. <coughs> oh. So basically, uh, every time we proceed in a room, uh, I think that's where the dragons start to spawn from instead. Oh gosh, how fast are you guys now? Pretty much the same, okay. To be fair, these dragons aren't changing much. Uh, just sucks that they're changing at all. Let's see, Tate, you have the Maltet. Yeah, do that. Put down the controller. Let me not skip past it, because I'll keep trying to. Oh my god, that missed! Tate, oh my god! I genuinely expected that to hit and be like, oh, well, now we have to heal Tate. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. But no! Let's go! How close are you? Not close enough to hit us. <laughs> so, that's good. Where's Faye? How many more uses of your weapon do you have? 22. I'm gonna look up something uh, during the next turn of movement. During the next turn of movement. During the enemy turn, basically. I don't know what I was trying to say. Uh, I don't know if I want Roy to lead the charge. Lance, you, you, you lead. You lead the charge. Kareen, come slowly behind you, your boy. Uh, actually, yeah, I guess Roy will be the charger, since he's the one who can move the furthest in anyway. Yeah. We'll do this, at least move Sin up a bit so that he can... That's it, Zeiss, there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna look this up. I wanna know if I can hammer on that dragon stone, because something tells me I can't. Uh, fire, emblem... Binding blade, binding blade, dragon stone. That's not how you spell dragon. Dragon stone. There we go. Okay, and yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. I feel like another dragon spawned in, and I didn't want, and I wasn't paying attention. If one did, oops. Uh, oh, it's a Divine Stone. That's the name of it. Never mind. My mistake. I thought it was Dragon Stone. Oh, they are actually growing in HP. I didn't notice that. Um, we'll put Sin there. We'll put Fae in front of another dragon. Um, we don't want to back up Fae. Tate, can you reach? Yes, you can. Which case will have you. Uh, Roy, you've got Worm Slayer. We'll actually put Lance with you this time, because you guys have a support anyway, so we'll do that. I'm afraid to put Lilina in front. Uh, Kareen? 
maybe? Oh, no, 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 no. Chlorine is bad choice. Chlorine could get hit by both. Do not want. <laughs> um, gosh, let's see. Divine Stone. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Ba item information. The Binding Blade. Nothing about that. Let's see. That's nice. No, definitely not like I needed to know this information. I don't know. Maybe it's in the Fey thing. About like, hey, you can't. Uh, da -da -da -da. Mm. Mm. That's weird. Furthermore, her weapon only has. Yeah, cannot be repaired. Yikes! So we need to be careful with it, basically. Luckily, she's like slowly growing stronger, which is always nice. So, we're gonna have a whole lot of dragons on our back. We're gonna have end up fighting at least one of them. Lance does not have his Durandal equipped. I did not realize. Yay, 15 damage! Actually, how much does the Worm Slayer do? This gives us the chance to see that at least. And actually, maybe feed a kill to Faye, depending? Not Faye. Kareen, depending. Oh, Hand is so used to wanting to skip past stuff, but I cannot. Okay. You know, hmm. If at least one weapon breaks, I'm not gonna be too sad. If at least one a legendary weapon breaks, because I feel like the Maltet is going to be the one who that breaks first. It's getting close. Uh, let's see, actually, since we're here. Roy, Worm Slayer. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> um. All right. Goddamn. Never mind. I didn't even have to feed the kill to Clarine. She can just come and get it. Yes, Chlorine, come. Steal your kill. Good, good. Oh, so close! Okay. Okay. Now I don't want to kill this one. But that will, like, get this dragon closer to us. Like, these dragons are going to be on our back for a while. 41. I mean... Really, there's no point in trying to extend the inevitable. Uh, actually, well enough. Heal Lance for us. Um, there really isn't a reason to delay the inevitable if Roy can do damage without using the Worm Slayer. Like, enough damage to kill the dragon after Faye hits it, then it should be okay. Or if any of these guys can. I mean, Soul can run up, right? Yeah, okay. There we go, then. Faye! Would have been nice if she got the crit. But I think she's only got the crit once, so I'm not gonna expect that. Faye's okay, Faye's sprite is adorable. Um kinda kinda sucks that it's not um that you know you can't really use Faye that much because her weapon will just break. But she does have a really cute sprite. Uh lightning has a better chance to hit, so we'll do that. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, why you gotta go and make me wrong, soul? Why? Why? Uh, I need to take that guy out, actually, because otherwise he'll kill. Otherwise he will kill. So, Sin! Can any of your other bows do something? Not that, because that won't. Mugly it is! It does kind of suck these weapons can miss. Now that I'm looking at it. Damn. But. Eh, what can you do? What can you do? Uh. Okay, I'm gonna wanna try and. Let's move.
Lance and... Oh, let's move Lance in front. Because Tate needs to be healed. So we'll do that. Okay, cool. I was about to say, do you have Dornal? Let's move you in as much as... Well, we'll move Tate there so that you can move in as much as you can. Let's actually put you there. Block the exit. Boy, seize the throne. I might use the Saint Staff right now. You proceed at a good pace, but you have not won yet. Rest assured, we will reach you. Your soul is strong. What do you wish to hear next? You created the Demon Dragon. The Demon Dragon had the ability to create endless war dragons. Why then did you lose to the humans? I'm gonna readjust my mic really quick. The Demon Dragon created many war dragons for use in the battlefield. The tables were turned, victory was in sight. However, the dragon. The, no, blah, blah. However, the humans soon found out about the demon dragon. They concluded that their numbers were not enough to defeat us. They focused their efforts into for forging weapons that would pierce our scales. They are what you humans call the legendary weapons. That much I know. The strongest human warriors were chosen to wield their c newly crafted weapons. They came and attacked this sanctuary. However, their immense power of the, of the weapons clashing with our own. It caused something none of us had anticipated. What happened? The laws of nature started to collapse. Snow began to fall in summer, stars shone in the middle of the day. You mean it caused the ending winter? I thought it occurred because the dragons released vast amounts of energy. Is that how your legends go? <laughs> the power of the legendary weapons were used to restore order to nature. That's what I learned. So in other words, we were the cause of everything bad that happened. How typical of you humans. But the truth is as I said that the legendary weapons were sealed away to prevent another disaster. The traps that were protecting them were meant to keep us out. You humans sealed them away? An uncharacteristically good decision. But you seem to be wielding them now. I wouldn't worry. The weapon's potency seems to have decreased since their initial forging. I doubt they can bring another such disaster as they are now. Anyway, the warping of nature's laws dealt a great blow to us dragons. How? That disaster was the reason we lost to the humans. I shall continue my story when you advance a bit further. Yay! Sporting dragons! Sure do love that! Mmm, yep. Mmm. Tasty, tasty war dragons. Okay, so who needs healing? Faye? Tate? Is that it? Yeah, okay. Uh, in which case, Lilina. Well, let's move Faye first. That means I'd have to move Tate. Okay, Lance, you may as well just, uh... Yeah, that one-shot kills that guy, so do that. Please, kill him. Right now. Do it. Yeah, boy! Okay, sick. Cool, 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 cool. Man, these dragons are not giving that much experience. Unless that one was, like, really weak. Which it might be. Eight, eight, eight level 14. I didn't actually realize that the levels were raising as well. Now I need to check these guys. 12, 12, 12, 12. Okay, so they're all level 12. Uh, Roy. Well, because Lance doesn't need healing, right? Yeah. There he does. Uh, if I move Tate here, or slightly above, like here, that means I can move. Faye and Lilina here. This. Skip past it. Uh, we can. Okay, soul can't actually move, so we'll do it with Soul. Little physic. Skip past it. Level up for Soul. Let's see. Level 17, skill and resistance. Max, any of those? No. Oh well. Clarine, you also cannot move much further than here. Bring Sinthu and Wendy since they can move the furthest right now. Yikes. We've got quite the way. We've got what? Including that room, four more rooms? Yeah. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Can you hit Zeph. Not Zephyr, Zeiss yet? No, you can't. That's fine by me. However, it does mean we're gonna need to move real quick. So. Uh, I think this is the room where we actually need to attack the dragons 
fast by ourselves? Except you can't attack this one. <laughs> you can attack the other one. And actually, if I move... I'm gonna need to make a wall around Sin. So, what we'll do is we'll Mugly. Definitely Mugly this one. Yep. Okay, done. Then we need to put Tate. Yeah, because you can't move, as far as I'm aware. So we need to put Tate here and Wendy there. Even though Wendy can't really do much, uh, she can at least take a hit. Tate, you have a legendary weapon, and you can't move anywhere into there further, which is perfect. Move Faye in a little bit more, remove everyone else as well, everyone who's in the back. Saul is the only person I didn't use boots on, fun fact. Uh, well, only person who's on feet, who I didn't use boots on. Uh, therefore making, uh, making him our slowest moving unit. Remove Roy up, like so. Lance can come here. He's got the Durandal equipped, he should be fine. And if he moves ice here. Basically, Zeiss is only in the back to make sure that these dragons, like, stay in line. Um, as expected, he went to go attack Wendy. Which is fine for us, because even though Wendy can't really do much, it's still that she can take a hit. I don't know, maybe I should have given Wendy the Maltet. Um... To be fair, if Wendy had a good axe stat, which she sadly doesn't. Uh, I wish- this is why I wish arm scrolls were a thing. I totally would have tried to raise Wendy to S rank axes. Um, even though that's like impossible. Um... Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let us see. Let's bring Soul in first, I think. That works. Why is Soul suddenly at 100% able to hit? Huh. The dragon stats are changing then, because at one point Soul was only able to do. Oh, but maybe that's because it was one that's on the throne. I didn't consider that. I'm a fool, ladies and gentlemen. I am an absolute fool. Faye, what can you do? 41. Green, what can you do? Eleven. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, unless Faye gets the crit here, which she didn't. That's going to Clarine. <laughs> Ooh, follow me. Which means we need to start moving everyone else towards the exit now. Uh, I'm afraid to put Sin up front because he has to use Mergle to do damage. Because if we learned anything from this dragon, he can't do damage with his sword. And I can't rush him down enough to see what he can do there. So, uh, yeah, if we move Clarine here, I'll fire this man. I'm not gonna skip past it. Again, my hand is so like readily prepared because of muscle memory to be like, let's just skip past this. But let's not. Let us not. Clarine is now level 19. One more level. HP and skill. Something. Man. I, I at least want that last thing to be magic. I want that last that last one to at least have a magic stack in it. I should actually open it up now? No, if I open it up now, won't that mean that it will spawn? No, it will spawn from here. Never mind, my mistake. Um, but if I open it up now, it will at least mean I get to see what's coming next. So let's do that then. <clears throat> you have come far. Perhaps I underestimated you. Please continue the story. 
When the order of the nature collapsed, we dragons suffered the most. When nature weakened, we could not maintain our dragon forms. And so we sealed our power into gemstones and took human form. The dragon stones. Yes. We were utterly powerless against the humans. In human form, we were even more feeble than the humans themselves. The humans took the opportunity to slaughter us. Why did you choose the form of humans? Why not some other shape? In the, or in the new order of nature, the human form required the least energy to transform into. The eight legends mercilessly, mercilessly crushed us as we were helpless in our human form. I too suffered deep wounds. Do you hate the humans because of that attack? Hate? Only humans feel such preposterous emotions. We battled for survival and we lost. There was nothing more to there is nothing more to our fight. However, we may yet be victorious. A human named Zephyl resurrected the demon dragon. And Zephyl really did undo the drag the demon dragon seal. That is correct. Show me if you're worthy to heal more. Oh it didn't oh no it did. Okay, I was about to be like, oh so it didn't open then. Um Okay, yeah, we can move people. Uh Lilina. You guys want just well actually. You need to heal somebody, don't you? Faye! There you go. Okay, Wendy. You do have damage on you, but you can take another hit. I'm suddenly a lot less afraid to move uh, Sin and Tate and stuff into this area. I don't think I want Lance to lead the charge this time, though. So I'll put him here. Uh, nice. I want to ensure that Zeiss is in the back still, though, because if these dragons do catch up, at least Zeiss can, you know, do damage to them while taking as little damage as possible. Uh, saying that, and I need to move Wendy. Oh god, my stomach is churning now. I'm, uh, definitely feeling the effects of this map now. Uh, that's as far as you can go. Anybody need healing? Eh, may as well, why not? How many more uses of that physics staff do we have? 13. Fine. Cool. Uh, Virina! Well, Sin, actually. Ah, that killer bow does damage. I don't know, let's see. You've got 13 uses and you've got 16. You have an odd number of uses, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill a bow. Which should make it so that the Maltec can one-hit kill. And even if it doesn't, oops. There we go. Got that crit. That definitely brings it down into a one-hit kill territory. In which case, Tate can now come here. Maltet. I'm so annoyed that these weapons don't have, like special looks to them. I mean, I guess the Maltec kinda does. I'm not sure. Because it has, like, the points at the end of the lance. The axe didn't. Armads didn't. And Armads is supposed to be, like, a huge-ass weapon. Uh, Soul, you should move in first. Then Lilina. Yeah, this is fine. If this guy decides to come and attack, which he can now, uh, Roy can... Roy can take a shot at him if he so needs to. The Silver Lance is guaranteed to do more damage, so I think I'll do that instead of trying to risk the crit. You can move here and be fine. Hey, you finally got up! Nice to see you. Fifteen. Fifteen damage. You know what? That is pretty decent damage. I'm not even gonna lie. Good job, Zeiss. You can take another hit, though, so we'll uh, keep that in mind. You can take two extra hits, since that one's getting real close. Uh, this time, I can actually set up this area to be, um, you know, optimal. Well, as optimal as, pos as possible right now. Because I need Roy to come and get the, the, the thing, and he can't right now, so... Especially because we need to move everyone else. Uh, Sin can't move you in by yourself. Which kinda sucks, but is the truth. 
If I move you in by yourself, nothing is gonna go well. I need to at least do that, then I can put you there. Uh, Soul. Lelina. Faye. And finally, Zeiss. If I remember correctly, Faye should have a should have an elixir on her, but I'm not quite sure. Oh, that guy can't reach us anymore. Funny. Um. Damn. Okay. Hey, good job, Tate. Somehow being the one person who can dodge those those numbers, because 77 is like 90 ish something uh, something between 85 to 90 percent in actuality oh <sighs> well then well then I see how it is oh damn that one's basically guaranteed to hit us whereas Lance is just gonna I don't know what it is Lance seems to be able to take them down to like 1 HP, which makes the next use of the Durandal feel useless. But what can you do? What can you do? Now we need to move everyone back in again. Wrong bow, Mugly. Uh, Kareem. Nine. Nine. Okay, so she can do 18 damage. Uh, saying that, Wendy, ooh, he does 20 damage. It's actually really dangerous. Okay, Sin. There's no way I can feed this to Clarine this time. So Clarine will just have to get hits in instead, which is fine. Still something. Uh, I'm actually pretty sure... 18 is enough to make the the Mergle be able to hit it once? No. Damn it. Damn it. It's just under enough to make it so that it hits once and is fine. Wendy. Kill a lance. Just so that we can use as little uses of that weapon as possible. I'm going to need to do a quick check on them before we continue on so that... Uh, I know what I need to ham on. We're also really lucky, we haven't needed to use the Saint Staff. Oh, which Saul has on him, so lovely. Sin. Here. Uh, ah! I didn't actually realize, but I was right. Mugley did, in fact, have one use on it. Not one use, as in, like, an odd number use on it. So this was a good decision. I made, a, I made the right choice. Level up for Sin. Level 13. HP, speed, and luck. Speed is 30. That's your max speed, right? Yes, your max speed is 30. Uh, let's move the others. Soul, you're the slowest. Faye is right next to you. Right behind you, rather. Do that. Do this. Actually, let's check. I mean, Wendy needs healing, but Lilina can't reach her right now, so... Oh, and Lance does, yikes. In fact, actually, you can reach Lance, right? Yes, you can. So if you put Lance here... Uh, how many uses of multi- Oh, there ten. Yeah, you could come in front, but we'll put you there instead. Lilina... Tina, Staff, Lance... There we go. You are so close, yet so far away. Damn. That's a whole lot of dragon staff behind us. I'm kind of afraid for when we step into the final room because I know, you know, your boy is going to be, like, right there being like, sup, motherfuckers. Um, and he's going to be powerful, so... Let's check. You don't have a legendary weapon. You can't heal your weapon. <laughs> Binding Blade has 14, Four Blades has 18, 14, you don't have any, you don't have any, 10, and 10. Uh, that just tells me that Lilina needs to start fighting more. <laughs> um, I might actually do that instead then. 
Let's put let's put Lilina up front. Uh, Sin can come close behind. Ooh, this does limit our movement options though. So I need to consider that. Yeah, Wendy. Ooh, actually I need to heal Wendy. So that gives Clarine the chance to come here. Do so. Cover Wendy. Go. Lance. Saul. Uh, yeah, Saul actually. Even though he doesn't need it, take the chance. Take the chance? Take the time. Sorry, to heal up Zeiss. Seas. John! John! Where are you? Hmm. Should have expected this of the man who defeated Zephyr. May even have the chance to fight me personally. How did Zephyr know about the Demon Dragon? Surely you know that Hardmut of the Eight Legends founded Burn. I do. Do you also know that Hardmut chose to spare the Demon Dragon? Rather than killing it, he sealed it away. Yes, but I don't know why. Hmm. Let me explain. The Eight Legends defeated our leader and made their way into the sanctuary to, to find the demon dragon. However, arriving at its chamber, all they found was a blank-eyed human girl. That was Eden. She didn't fight? The demon dragon had its soul destroyed to follow our leader's commands. With our leader dead, there were no commands to follow. Then what happened? The Eight Legends naturally hesitated. They'd expected to find the most terrible of all dragons, but instead they found a mute girl. Knowing the demon dragon still had to be defeated, they readied their weapons. Eden must have reacted to their attack out of instinct. They changed into dragon form and fought as the Solist war dragons do. Hardmut, however, brandished a blade even more powerful than the legendary weapons. The Binding Blade! I don't know what you humans call it, but that must be it. When the blade cut the demon girls of flesh, it fell unconscious rather than die. Why didn't it slay Eden? The blade has a strange power that reflects the wielder's soul. Hardman didn't want to kill her, so the binding blade reflected that feeling and spared her. Yet apparently heard how the dragon was formed and felt pity for it. We dragons cannot understand that illogical feeling. He pitied her. In his soul, he wished to spare Eden. I personally would never hesitate to eliminate a flat as he did. Hardman's soul changed the sword itself. After persuading the others that it should be spared, Hartmut built a shrine hidden deep in what you now call Burn. There he bound the demon dragon away using the blade and the fire emblem. After the founding of Burn, the shrine was protected by the royal family for generations. That is, until Zephyl unbound her, of course. How do you know all this? Did you witness it? No. After the battle, I hid myself to nurse my wounds. All I told you, I learned from Zephyl himself who read it in ancient tomes kept by the Burn royal family. How did you meet Zephyr? You wish to do- you wish to know that now, do you? So be it. Come further and I will tell you. Hey, does that give me one more chance to do the Zephyr voice? Because it's dope shit. Oh, let's check the next room. Okay, pretty much the same layout. Ooh. Yeah, more or less the same thing. Can also reach Lumino right now, so that's perfect. Uh, Zeiss, you may as well just come on in. Come say hi. Oh, Wendy, I'm not moving you, so... <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. I mean, these are all just experience points waiting to happen, but... You know. Don't want to waste too much of anything, really. Lilina is actually our dragon killer because she has maximum magic, so if she just does 62, one shot kills all of them. Damn. Damn. Level up. What else can you even get right now? Apparently HP, luck, and resistance. Okay. I'll bring Roy further in this time. Whoever can, whoever can sit in front of Roy is going to be the one who takes the damage. Uh, if we heal Lilina, I might just do that and put Lilina in front. Well, actually, we can move pretty much everyone in. How far can Lilina move? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Clarine. Physic Lilina. Tate. 
sin. I might be able to make it so that sin gets hit by this dragon because they don't they can't hit one range. Like one range hits are basically impossible for them. Uh, maybe I'm not gonna put Lily Knight in then. Yikes. Uh I'm afraid that if I put her there, she's gonna get hit by both. And she definitely cannot get hit by both without dying, so... Wendy... And finally Zeiss... So yeah! This room, and then the final one, and that's the end of this map. Unless I want to kill all these dragons. But I don't know if they keep spawning after I kill John. Yep, I was right, he would go and attack Sin, who cannot hit back with the sword. I did not know that. Well then. Well then. Well then. Uh, on the bright side. I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. Uh, we do need to heal Sin. Luckily, we've got Soul. I'm gonna use Soul for that this time. Except for Clarine. Uh, actually, West Fay. Where's Clarine? That's Clarine. Faye! Yes! Feed this! Feed it to Clarine, even though I should probably be feeding it to Faye instead. Never mind! Got the crit. It was bound to happen eventually. A 20% crit is, like, pretty good. Damn. Let's see this level up, then. HP, strength, skill, speed, luck, and resistance. I've been getting good things with Faye, because just a reminder, Faye doesn't have, like, 100% growth rates in anything. Maybe in HP? Maybe? I'm not quite sure on anything else, though. Um, I know her strength one is, like, 90. I don't want to attack with Roy. That's the thing. But I need to open the thing with Roy. Truly, this is a, uh... Truly painful event here. Actually, can Roy even reach that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. He can't! Oh, well, Roy, you haven't gotten the chance to murder a dragon of your own yet. So... Let's kill a dragon. Let's do it. The Binding Blade looks cool as hell. I'm not even gonna lie. The Binding Blade looks sick. But none of the other weapons, as far as I'm aware, as far as I'm able to tell, change. So... That kind of sucks, but oh well. Okay. Good job, Roy. Uh, this allows Tate to kind of come on through here. This also allows Clarine. Who was it that needed healing? Sin. That's right. Yeah, it allows Lilina to come heal Roy. Um, actually, I said I was gonna do it with Soul, didn't I? So let's move the main this way. It allows Soul to come on in. Physic. Sin. Let's get past that. Done. Uh, Wendy can come on in. Zeiss can just kind of keep on chilling. Did you not just. Okay, no, you didn't. You're missing health. I was about to be like, did you not just spawn in? But no. No, you're the one we hit. Look at all these dragons, holy hell. I basically need to make the decision of who's gonna be getting the, this experience. Uh, well. I mean, Clarine's the one who's close to level 20. And hasn't hit level 20 yet. So maybe. Just maybe. Uh, I should actually probably move. Durandal has 14 uses still. In which case, you can lead the charge this time. Uh, Clarine, come next to your next to your boy. Faye. Sin. Well, no, you can actually stay with, uh, Roy. Hey! <coughs> oh, bless me. Yeah. Well, no, you can stay with Roy. May as well. You have come far. I am in the next chamber. It has been ages since I've shown a human my true form. 
I've not left this sanctuary since the end of the scouring. Y you've been here that long? For 1,000 years. Having survived the scouring, I waited, healing my wounds. I waited for the resurrection of the Demon Dragon, for our chance of victory. But long last, that time came. The Demon Dragon seal was broken, and I felt power flowing through my veins again. What does the Demon Dragon seal have to do with your strength? The Dragon Sanctuary's power is intertwined with the Demon Dragon's. The Demon Dragon seal to the Sanctuary and myself were crippled. I see. After I recovered, I saw the, the person who had broken the seal. I used my illusions to seek him out and ask his intentions. The you humans ruling the world, I couldn't go in my true form. Wait, I thought that dragons lose most of their power in human form. How do you have the power to create illusions like this? The sanctuary is the only place that dragons maintain some power in human form. I'm also a relatively powerful dragon. Even in human form, as long as I am in this sanctuary, illusions are a simple task. I lack the power to create war dragons like the demon dragon can, however. Your search led you to Zephyl? Yes. I located Zephyl by following the energy emitted by the demon dragon. I remembered the exact words in the conversation we had. For what reason have you awakened the demon dragon? I asked him. He was a strange one. No, 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 no. He was a strange one. The bored look on his face, he simply asked, Who are you? To which I answered, Dragon. To that, a smile crept onto his face. It was then he told me that he wanted to give the world to the dragons. Frankly, I didn't trust him. But I accepted him as the new leader of the Demon Dragon. He ordered it to liberate the world from humans. He wanted it to rule the world in their place. Zephyl is dead now. What is the Demon Dragon doing? It is in this sanctuary, waiting for his chance to liberate the world. What? Even with our leader gone? Have you taken on the role of leader now? There is no need for that. Zephyl ordered it to proceed even in the event of his death. Eden will continue until control is arrested from humans. She is nothing but a slave! Her soul was destroyed and now she's bound to a dead man's order! Do you pity her as Hartmut did? <laughs> Foolish you. Your kind makes no sense. Allow me to tell you one more thing. No matter how you may want it, dragons and humans will never be able to live in harmony. The differences between our two species are simply too great. It's not true. I know of a village where dragons and humans live in peace. I know a greater peace is possible with effort. Human and dragons living together? Stop your lies. I will not humor such an obvious falsehood. Now, step forward. Let us see whose strength is greater. <laughs> Except Arcadia does exist. Like, very actively exists in this universe. So... I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, should have checked what those guys have, actually. <coughs> Whoopsie daisy. Oh well. Oh, what can you do? Oh, what can you do? I actually think these dragons aren't spawning anymore because there's too many behind us. Okay, you're pretty much the same. There's John. He has 80 HP. That's lovely. Level 18 Maniki. Oh no. Oh no, he is like an actual, he has boss stats. Like what, 25, 20, 12, 14, 35, 21. Jesus, like Lilin is necessary for, <laughs> to take him down. Uh, Faye can't reach. Faye cannot reach. Hmm. Eh, let's put it there anyway. Marine can be right after. She can take a hit at 32 HP. Lance, Tate, Sin. Uh, Roy, how far can you move in right now? Damn it, okay. Soul. Oh, right, Staff. I was like, I thought I saw the word support there, and I was like, what? He has a support with Sin? That's odd, but no. No. My eyes were deceiving me. There's the other one. Never mind. It's because we hadn't quite left the room yet. At least according to the game, we hadn't left the room. Yes, come and attack the tiny baby child. Why is Face Dragon so cute? Like, look at how dangerous these dragons look, and then you've just got, like, 
Chicken Wing Fay. I mean, it's adorable, but damn. Okay, those dragons are definitely going to be given the chance to catch up to us here. I would say the smarter choice is to actually let them come through and just deal with them. But something also tells me that that would just mean they just don't end. So... Ooh, Clarine, you're so close! Clarine has to be fed one more kill. Um... Yeah, Lilina. Come heal Faye. Oh! What's that? D? Yeah, D. Okay, cool. That's nice. Okay, I might actually uh, test something here. I want to see if Jean moves. I want to see if Jean moves. So I'm actually going to save state right here. Uh, what's his... He probably doesn't. But just in case... I'm afraid. I'm, inf I'm afraid of the in case, you know? I really don't want him to move, but... It is very much in the realm of possibility. Let's do that. So, here. Wendy. Roy. Who really should be further in. But, oh well. Do you move, Jean? Does not seem like it. But then again, all these dragons tend to move first anyway. Okay. Cool. So now we have to decide how we're going to take down these dragons. Um, I can do the same thing I did last time, actually. We'll put Faye here. Actually, Faye can run up. Let's see. Oh, this guy does basically nothing to her. Okay, so we'll put Faye there. 10, 14... Durandal user here. Then we'll slowly start fizzling through everyone else. Because your boy over there, Jean, is going to be a pain in the butt to deal with. So no one can go past Clarine right now. Uh, Tate, you actually have wings, so I'll put Sin in front of you instead. Well, then, uh, we'll bring Roy up front. And then Soul. Wendy, and finally Zeiss. Well, I keep trying to call Zephyr for some reason. I feel like I've already slipped up and called him Zephyr. I know I caught myself at one point, but I feel like I haven't caught myself at one point as well, you know? I don't know. I'm not looking at the camera anymore. I really should be looking at the camera. I forget that it's here and not like... Because my brain always goes... Uh, okay, basically, I'm an idiot. There's a there's a mirror here. Um, And, you know, whenever dumb shit happens, you know when you do that whole looks into the camera like you're in the office... I do it to the, to the mirror instead, so, <laughs> yeah, see, the, the the time I mentioned, yeah, she doesn't have 100% uh, in her stats, she doesn't get um, a full, a nearly full level up. Oh, oh, that's nice, I didn't know that Lance was able to uh, one-shot that dragon. Did he raise his strength at one point and I didn't realize? That must have been it. Oh, Clarine! Uh, do you finally want to hit level 20? Please? Because I need at least one unit to do it. I know Fiora did it last time. Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine! Okay. I see how it is. What does- what, how much can Faye do to this guy? 30. That's gonna be necessary. Um, which means Saul needs to like, kinda come through. Well, Saul doesn't need to come through, but, you know, everyone else is gonna be, so... Actually, how many more uses does Faye have of a stone? Because that could be very detrimental. 17! I actually did pretty well with that. Ooh. Ooh, I kind of want Roy to find him. He does 33, though, so he wouldn't be able to kill. Lilina? For once, four blaze doesn't kill a dragon! That's a sign in of itself how dangerous that man is. Um, but we'll do that, actually. Uh, four blaze. Let's go. I have waited a millennium. My strength has recovered and it is greater than ever. I can feel it. 
Ugh. 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 I knew that was gonna happen! In my mind, I, like, because I saw the 64, in my mind it's like, it's gonna miss, isn't it? It's gonna do that, that whole fucking animation and it's gonna miss. I'm annoyed. I hate that I'm right. <laughs> um, let's see, that's 30. That will take him down to 50. Durandal, ooh, if he hits you though, you're dead, right? No, you're not. Uh, but the Durandal is very likely to miss. Um... Malta, how much can you do? 28 and has much more of a chance of hitting. Uh, Roy, how much do you do with the binding blade again? Oh. In which case, we'll just we'll just combo it from Faye into uh, Faye into Roy. So let's do this. Kind of surprised he doesn't have anything to say to Faye. Or uh, like, what? Why is a dragon amongst the ranks? Wait, a dragon can work with humans? What? Uh, but what can you do? You don't always get the the conversations that you want between characters. Sadly, Binding Blade. Do it. Kind of mad that Roy and John don't have anything to say to each other. But what can you do? And then, from what I remember, um, and this tends to be the case with a lot of Fire Emblem bosses, final bosses at least, the next boss isn't going to be too difficult. I fall. Humans are truly unpredictable. Bye, bitch! Level up for Roy. Level 7, HP, Strength, Skill, Speed. I'll take that. That's basically a full level up. I am. A okay with that. Uh, where's Kareem? Which is okay. I mean, we don't need to like do anything else. We just need to seize that thing, and we're done. But you know, uh, there is one like there is one person who hasn't quite hit level twenty yet, and I kind of want to do that. So the only issue. Is that if I do that, if I do so, I have to make sure that she can't get hit by any of those others. Others who are in the way. Oh wait, well I can just seize the map after I do this. Because I'm pretty sure she can kill him now, right? Let's get past it. Okay. Maximum level! Okay, we did it. Level 20, HP and magic. She got the magic that I wanted. I am happy. These are Clarine's final stats. 19, 19, 25, 30, 11, 20. To be fair, um, even though she didn't max magic like um, Priscilla did, those are still good stats. Definitely workable at least. Um, just in case it turns out I can't uh, seize the map for some reason. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The demon dragon lies ahead. Roy, what's wrong, Faye? You look like you're about to cry. Um. Am I evil too? Huh? When, when I get older, will I be a bad dragon too? I'm not gonna make a comment on those words. Slow down, slow down, Faye. Where did you get that idea? That man said that dragons and humans can't live in peace. That isn't true. You've lived in the bottle with humans, haven't you? But the demon dragon is a divine dragon like me. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. You're going to fight the demon dragon, but what about me? What if, when I grow up, I'm like the demon dragon? Then you would have to- Don't worry, Faye. I know you'll never be like the demon dragon. You'll always live with humans, with people like me. Do you really think so? Of course. I want to help the demon dragon, too. Help her? The demon dragon isn't acting of her own free will. I forgot what voice I gave Faye anyway, so- Hey, baby dear, I'm a little baby, is <laughs> what she's gonna have. Uh, she had her, sl she had her soul destroyed. She is a slave. I- I don't want to kill her if I can avoid it. Your words are too big. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm sure you'll learn what I mean once you get a little older. Harmit posed a question when he bound the demon dragon, and I intend to answer it. We up to the finale, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you so very much for watching.
If you like this episode, thank you very much. Hopefully there are other things on my channel you can enjoy. If you didn't like this episode, I completely understand. But um, hopefully there is something on my channel you can enjoy. I hope you all have a very nice day. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.